All right, guys, so you remember that giant vibrator motor that showed up at our shop that had 100 pound weights on either side of the shaft and the customer attempted to cut all the epoxy out of the pecker head and they actually cut all the motor leads that go into the winding? Well, after we went through all the mechanical stuff and we removed all the bearing races and we replaced all the bearings, we put it all back together, the winding actually was not working properly. Something was going on with it. I'm gonna show you once I strip that winding what exactly was happening there. So when we were attempting to test run this thing, it sounded like it was single phasing. So we ended up cutting the winding, stripping the entire winding, and you can see that when I was pulling it out, I did find this coil. It looks like we have some wires that were broken inside of here. Somehow it did manage to pass all of our electrical testing, minus when we went to test run it, and it was drawing 80 amps on one leg, 40 on another. And that was under no load, when the full load current should actually be 10 amps at 460 volts. So after I've rewound everything, we can go ahead and test run it without the weights, but we don't want to run this for too long because we do have roller bearings and we don't have any radial load. We don't want those rollers to skid and cause damage to the bearing. We have all brand new fasteners saturated in red Loctite, and we're going to go ahead and lock everything down on this. As you know, this is a pretty violent machine. It's going to be shaking 200 pounds of weight on either side of it, vibrating like crazy, and it will vibrate any fastener on this thing loose. You can see the weight that's closest to us has a pin in it that sits inside the keyway on the shaft and then the back one is free floating where we can change the intensity of the vibration. After everything's been Loctited, I decided to only put three leads on this just in case they happen to cut through it again. We do still have to scotch cast or pot the connection inside of this. And we're also going to put a 20 foot cord on this thing and you can see how clean it looks now. Let's take one more look at what it looked like when it came in. I appreciate all the likes and comments and follows. If there's something you guys want to see, drop it in the comments below. Cheers guys.